Hello my dear students, welcome back to my class, Easy Maths by Sukumar. How are you my dear students? This is Sukumar, Mathematics teacher. Again here I am standing before you to introduce a new chapter and very interesting chapter and easiest chapter in 10th class that is Trigonometry. See my dear students, we have already learned about two chapters. One is Similarity of Triangles or Triangles and the second chapter is Polynomials over Integers. These two chapters, I hope you understand everybody. See my dear students, before we start this your new chapter, Trigonometry, I request everyone, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Please write in the comment box also my dear students. See my dear students, the trigonometry, actually the main application, the main applications of this trigonometry is, see, just I will give you a small example here. This is the school building. You are here on the ground. This is just imagine this is a ground and you are observing what? The top of the school building here. This is the top of the school building. With some angle of elevation, some 30 degrees. Just you are observing the top of the building like this. See my dear students, you know the height of the building. Maybe that is 30 meters. Just imagine the height of the building is 30 meters. You know, this building makes an angle with this ground 90 degrees. Even me also, if I stand like this vertically, then I will make a 90 degrees. That means I and this ground are perpendicular to each other. So my dear students, here we can find the distance between you and to the bottom of the building by using this trigonometry. Even you can find what? Suppose if the width or the distance between you and the bottom of the building are given that is some 10 meters then you can find the height of the building using this trigonometry see my dear students the main application of this trigonometry is to find the heights and distances heights and distances this trigonometry concept even we use in see my dear stu students even physics also so as i told you my dear students this this is very important even for the higher classes that means plus one, plus two, or intermediate, we call them. See, and uh, engineering and M-Tech, and if you are taking mathematics as a mainstream, this trigonometry is will be continuing in your studies. So, my dear students, this is very important branches in mathematics. Okay, my dear students, even this trigonometry we will use in astro astronomy also. So, my dear students, we will learn about this trigonometry now. Okay, right. Actually, this trigonometry is derived from three Greek words. What are the three Greek words? Tri and Gono. And the next one is Metron. There are three Greek words. This trigonometry is derived from three Greek words. What are they? Tri, Gono and Metron. Tri means it is three. Tri means three, Gono means angle, and the metron means the last word. This is to measure. So, my dear students, trigonometry means it's a three angle measure. It's a three angle measure. Understand, students? Here, actually, see, my dear students, now I am telling you or revealing a very important topic. See, here. Actually, there are four exercises in your textbook. For CBSE students, for CBSE students, four exercises and coming to the AP board students also, there are four exercises. See, for AP board students, 11.1, 11.2, 11.3, 11.4 and for coming to the CBSE, that means NCRT 10th class textbook, 8.1 exercises, 8.1 or exercises exercise 11.1 .1. exercise 8.2 or exercise 11.2 exercise 8.3 or exercise 11.3 and the last exercise is exercise 8.4 or exercise 11.4 so here my dear students you will see there are four exercises here four these four exercises, actually the first exercise 
it is based on the trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios we learn about this trigonometric ratios after we i explain all these four exercises the summary of these four exercises see the first exercise that means 8.1 or 11.1 it is based on the trigonometric ratios and coming to this exercise 11.2 or exercise 8.2 for cbsc this exercise is based on trigonometric angles some angles in trigonometry some angles in trigonometry that means sin 30 sin 0 sin 45 sin 60 sin 90 cos 0 cos 30 cos 45 like that this also we are going to learn and exercise 8.3 and exercise 11.3 see my dear students in the geometry i told the sum of two angles is 90 degrees means they are complementary angles so here in trigonometry also complementary trigonometry complementary angles are there so so this exercise third exercise is based on this complementary angles and the fourth one and the most important one is 11.4 or exercise 8.4 so this 11.4 that means our 8.4 fourth exercise is based on trigonometric identities trigonometric identities see my dear students only four exercises four concepts only four concepts if you learn these four concepts then you will get 10 out of 10 that means you will get full marks in trigonometry so i will make it easy don't worry see my dear students the first concept that means trigonometric ratios let us learn about this trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios actually there are three trigonometric ratios three trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios there are three trigonometric ratios actually what is the first one sin cos or cosine next one is tangent or tan sin cosine tangent these are three trigonometric ratios actually these reciprocals are cosecant cosecant the reciprocal of cosine is secant and the reciprocal of tangent is cot so total six trigonometric ratios 3 plus 3 six trigonometric ratios i will repeat my dear students sin cosine means cos so simply we can call cos cos tangent or tan cosecant or simply we can call cosecant cosc secant yes yeah, cc also we can use simply in short form cot 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 this is the shortest form only cot sin cosecant sorry sin reciprocal is cosecant Co cosine reciprocal cos reciprocal is secant tangent or tan reciprocal is cot sin cosecant cos secant tan cot okay my dear students actually before we get into this trigonometric ratios you all are very familiar see here in the previous introduction in the in the in the, in the introduction just i have illustrated with a what a triangle here i draw what a school building and you are here and observing the top of the building you have a school building with some angle of elevation and as i told you this angle is 90 degrees okay my dear students are you here just listen right here this is right angle this is right angle this vertical vertical line makes a what Nine, makes an angle 90 degrees with this ground that means this with this horizontal line okay now my dear students in a triangle actually you know that the sum of the three angles is 180 degrees the sum of the three angles is 180 degrees therefore my dear students here if one angle is 90 degrees means what about the sum of the other two angles 
the sum of other two angles is 90 degrees. That means the sum of this angle and this angle, that means angle B is 90 degrees means, my dear students, angle A plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees. If angle B is 90 degrees means angle A plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees. See my dear students, in the last class, we proved Pythagoras theorem in the last videos, in the last chapter. There actually, the Pythagoras theorem says that the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides. See, using this Pythagoras theorem, if we know two sides, any two sides, any two sides of this right angle triangle, then we can find the third angle, sorry, third side. If you know two sides of a right angle triangle, then we can find the third side of the right angle triangle. See, for example, if you know these two sides, the height and the what? Distance between U and to the object. That means this here, it is building. Just imagine. Then you can find AC. Or if you know AC and BC, then you can find AB. Understand? If you know AB and AC, then you can find BC. That is only using Pythagoras theorem. But using this trigonometric ratios, my dear students, if you know angle, angle, this acute angle, and one side, then you can find these two sides. Or if you know this angle and this side, or this side, then you can find other two sides. So, I hope you understand this concept, my dear students. See, my dear students, here, again we come back to here, in this triangle. See, this angle is 90 degrees means, the sum of other two angles are 90 degrees. Angle A plus angle C is equal to 90 degrees. So we can say this angle A and angle C are acute angles. Why they are acute angles? Acute angles means if one angle is, angle is less than 90 and more than 0, more greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees, such an angle is acute angle. Okay, my dear students, here angle A and angle C, both are acute angles. Both angles are acute angles. This angle A or either angle A or angle C is not more than 90 degrees. Is not more than 90 degrees. Why? If this angle is 90 degrees, means the sum of the two angles is 90 degrees. So each angle we can say acute angle. Angle A and angle C are acute angles. Okay, my dear students. Suppose this is angle C is let it be nine, uh, theta. Theta. This angle C we can we can use it as or we can call them as call this angle as theta. So this theta is acute angle. Sometimes we can use this angle as a theta or some other angle, some alpha, some beta, some gamma, something like that. Okay. Now here, my dear students, the first point here is, what is the side opposite to the right angle? What is the side opposite to the right angle? The side opposite to the right angle is called hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. This is the longest side in a right angle triangle. Why? You know the concept. In 8th class we have studied. What is the concept? The side opposite to the greater angle is the longest side. The side opposite to the greater angle is the longest side. Here in this triangle, my dear students, this is the greatest angle. Therefore, the side opposite to the greater angle is the hypotenuse. Okay. So here, this is called hypotenuse. The hypotenuse will not, will not be changed. Why? It is exactly opposite to the right angle. Okay, my dear students. So what about these two sides? It has also names. If you take the theta here, then this is the opposite side. This is opposite side, my dear students. And this is adjacent. That is, that is adjacent to this acute angle. So this is adjacent side. So my dear students, you know what is hypotenuse and what is opposite side and what is adjacent side. You know the names of the three sides of the right angle triangle. Suppose if theta is here, then this will be the opposite side. Why? This side is opposite to this acute angle. We can change that 
acute angle we can take here or here it depends upon the sum my dear students okay see this is opposite and this is adjacent if theta is at angle a okay now my dear students here in this right angle triangle this is what opposite side and this is what this is opposite side and this is hypotenuse opposite side this is adjacent side and it is hypotenuse okay now coming to our trigonometric ratios as i told you what are the three trigonometric ratios sin theta cos theta this is theta theta is an acute angle just sin theta cos theta tan theta okay my dear students what is sin theta sin theta means opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side by hypotenuse sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse cos theta means adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side adjacent side by hypotenuse tan theta means opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side if you know these three ratios these first three ratios then the other three ratios are very simple why cosecant theta secant theta and cot theta are the reciprocals of sin theta cos theta and tan theta therefore my dear students again i will repeat you here sin theta means opposite side by hypotenuse cos theta means adjacent side by hypotenuse tan theta means opposite side by adjacent side therefore the other three trigonometric ratios what are they cosecant theta secant theta and other one is cot theta cosecant theta secant theta and cot theta so here actually opposite side by hypotenuse means high opposite side is here is this is opposite side this is ab hypotenuse is ac and adjacent side is bc hypotenuse is ac opposite side is ab adjacent side is bc so tan theta cos theta sin theta now let us write cosecant theta cosecant theta means just the reciprocal of sin theta that means hypotenuse by hypotenuse by opposite side that means side opposite to the acute angle coming to the secant theta my dear students secant theta this is equal to what hypotenuse by hypotenuse by what adjacent side adjacent side this secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta now coming to the cot theta my dear students cot theta this is equal to what adjacent side adjacent side by opposite side opposite side adjacent side means the side opposite to the acute angle that is theta opposite side means the side opposite to the acute angle that is theta okay my dear students these are sin theta cos theta tan theta and the reciprocals of these angles are cosecant theta secant theta and cot theta i hope you understand these three six trigonometric ratios let me repeat sin theta means opposite side by hypotenuse cos theta means adjacent side by hypotenuse tan theta means opposite side by adjacent side actually tan theta means sin theta by cos theta sin theta by cos theta that means these two hypotenuse will get cancel finally opposite side by adjacent side coming to this cosecant theta cosecant theta means it it is the reciprocal of sin theta that is hypotenuse by opposite side the first question in a right angle triangle abc 8 cm actually this is exercise 11.1 first question and this is exercise 8.1 for cbc students first question 
I am going to cover both CBC and AP board students. If I take the first exercise, then I will I am trying to cover all the sums in uh, for AP board students as well as CBC students. Okay, my dear students. Actually, some some questions are similar. Same sums only will be given. That I, I will tell you. If the sums same sums are repeated in the uh, two textbooks. It is enough to do in one, uh, say, uh, one time, no? Right. Okay. In the first sum, in a right angle triangle ABC, in a right angle triangle ABC, for AP, I will write A, capital A, AP. For CBSE, I will write, this is for AP board, this is CBSE. Right. Okay. Look, don't confuse, but you have to learn, my dear students. Right. You are going to write public examination, no problem. If you learn all the sums in both CBSE and AP board, it doesn't matter. Right. It will be easy for you. You can solve any sum. You can, you can solve any sum in the question paper. Right. In a right angle triangle ABC, in a right angle triangle ABC, this is a right angle triangle ABC. 8 centimeters, 15 centimeters, and 17 centimeters are the lengths of AB, BC, and AC. Okay. AB, BC, and AC. AC is the hypotenuse. Why? This is the longest side. 8, 15, and 17. So 17 is the longest. That means that could be the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. Right. So AB is what? 8 centimeters. And BC is 15 centimeters. And this is the right angle. Right. Now, at the lengths of AB, BC and AC, respectively, find out what is sin A. And what is cos A. And what is tan A. Okay. This is 17. AC is 17. AB is 8 centimeters. BC is 15 centimeters. So, this is right angle. Why? This is opposite to the longest side. So, angle B is the 90 degrees. Okay, my dear students. Now, sin A. Take this angle. This angle as the acute angle. Now, what is sin A, my dear students? Opposite side by hypotenuse. This is opposite side by hypotenuse. So, here this is opposite side. The side opposite to this acute angle A is opposite side. That means BC by hypotenuse will never change. That is AC. So BC by AC. So what is BC my dear students? 15 by 17. 15 by 17. Coming to the cos A my dear students. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. This is adjacent to the angle A. Why here the acute angle is A. So, cos A means adjacent side by hypotenuse. So, here the adjacent side is AB and the hypotenuse is AC. So, this is 8 by 17. Next, coming to the tan A. Tan A means opposite side by adjacent side. So, here opposite side is BC, adjacent side is AB. So, this is BC by AB. So, my dear students, here BC is 15 by AB is 8. So, 15 by 8. So, it's very simple. Okay, now coming to the second question for CBC students here in triangle ABC, right angle at B. Okay, again, I will draw a right angle triangle. So, here, my dear students, in this triangle ABC, right angle is at B. So, this is the right angle. Okay. Here AB is 24 centimeters and BC is 7 centimeters and determine sin A cos A and sin C cos C. Actually, this is the similar sum to, I think it is third sum, similar to third sum in 11.1. Okay. What is to be, what is to be found here? Sin A cos A, sin C cos C. Okay. But here, the hypotenuse value is not given here. This hypotenuse is not given. Okay, my dear students, here, I will write the solution here. 
so in triangle abc abc angle b is equal to 90 degrees angle b is equal to 90 degrees here according to pythagoras theorem ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square so that means this is implies ab square is 24 square plus 7 square this is equal to ac square so 24 square is 576 7 square is 49 so this 576 plus 49 is 625 so ac square is equal to 625 AC is equal to square root of 625 therefore AC is equal to 25 centimeters therefore my dear students the hypotenuse is 25 centimeters okay now what we have to find actually here sin A cos A sin C cos C right the first one is sin A sin A means opposite side by hypotenuse sin a 7 centimeters that means bc by ac so this is bc by ac what is bc 7 centimeters by 25 centimeters that is 7 by 25 so here sin a is 7 by 25 what about cos a my dear students cos a is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse the side adjacent to angle A, that means AB by AC. AB by AC. So here AB is 24 centimeters and AB is what? AC is 25 centimeters. So this is 24 by 25. And coming to the second question, second bit here. What is the second one? Sin C cos C. What is sin C and what is cos C? sin c now the acute angle has changed a to c this is sin c see what is the side opposite to c here angle c that is a b so sin c means opposite side by hypotenuse that is a b by a c so this is a b by a c so what is a b my dear students 24 by 25 this is 24 hypotenuse is 25 now coming to the cos C, adjacent side by hypotenuse. So what is the side of adjacent to angle C? That is BC. So BC by hypotenuse is AC. So this is 7 by 25. 7 by 25. Okay my dear students. This is first and second sum. Please write down in your notebooks and do practice also. Look here, the second question for AP board students, that means in exercise 11.1, .1, in exercise 11.1, .1, this is for AP board students and this is for CBSC students, right. Here, the sides of right angle triangle PQR are, PQ is 7 centimeters, QR is 25 centimeters, angle P is 90 degrees, respectively, then find tan Q minus tan R, okay. Let us take a right angle triangle here. Take the right angle triangle PQR. Here the right angle triangle PQR, PQ 7 centimeters, QR 25 centimeters. This angle P is 90 degrees. So in this triangle, this angle P is 90 degrees. Okay, my dear students. So here this is 90 PQR. PQ is 7 centimeters. And this QR, that is the hypotenuse, 25 centimeters. Now we can find PR also, my dear students. PR. Actually, PR, this is the here, this side is here. So using Pythagoras theorem, we can find this PR. So what is Pythagoras theorem? Here, the square of hypotenuse, that means QR square is equal to PR square plus PQ square since Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem okay right here this QR square is 25 square it is equal to PR square is unknown that only we have to find PQ means 7 that is 7 square so my dear students here PR square is 
625 minus 49. So this PR square is equal to 576. So PR is equal to square root of 576. So here this is equal to plus or minus 24. So we should take only positive value. Why? These are the lengths of the sides are always positive, right? Now what we have to find here, my dear students, actually tan Q minus tan R. So let us write what is tan Q here first. So tan Q means this is the acute angle. In this triangle PQR, this is tan Q. Q is sorry, Q is here. So this acute angle, this is acute angle. So tan Q means opposite side by hypotenuse, sorry, adjacent side. Actually, this PR is 24 centimeters, no? Right. So here tan Q means opposite side by adjacent. That means PR by PQ. So tan Q is equal to PR is 24 and PQ is 7. So this is 24 by 7. Now again here, what is the other value you have to find here? Tan R. So here the acute angle is R. So here tan R, that means R is here. Tan R means opposite side by adjacent side. That is PQ by PR. PQ by PR. So this tan R is equal to PQ is 7 and PR is 24. This is 7 by 24. So tan R is equal to 7 by 24. Now tan Q minus tan R. Tan Q minus tan R. So that is 24 over 7 minus 7 over 24. Okay. So this is 24. 24s are 576 minus 7. 7s are 49. What is 24 times 7? 7 4s are 28 to 2. 7 2s are 14 plus 2 16. That is 168 here. So what is this 576 minus 49? 16 minus 9 is what? 7. 6 minus 4 is 2 and this is 527. So 527 by 168. So this tan Q minus tan R is equal to 527 by 168. So this is the end of this first question. Okay, coming to the second question, my dear students here. This is for CBSC students. In figure 8.13, this is 8.13, find tan P minus cot R, tan P minus cot R. Here actually this QR is not given, QR value is not given. So how do you find this QR value according to Pythagorean theorem, by the Pythagorean theorem. That means PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. That means PR square means 13 square is equal to 12 square plus QR square. So QR square is equal to 169 minus 144. Why? 13 square is 169, 12 square is 144. So QR is equal to 25. 169 minus 144 is 25. That's, that is 5. So this is 5 my dear students. Now what we have to find like this previous sum only, both sums are similar only my dear students. Now tan P minus tan R, what is tan P my dear students? Opposite side by adjacent side, that is QR by PQ. So QR is 5, PQ is 12, so tan P is 5 by 12. Coming to the cot R, cot R means here we have to take opposite side by adjacent side this is the opposite side respective with angle r so that is pq by qr so what is pq here opposite side by adjacent side that is 12 by 5 now what we have to find here my dear students tan p minus cot r tan p minus cot r that is 5 by 12 minus 12 by 5 okay so here tan p is 5 by 12 minus 12 by 5 so this is what 5 5 is 25 minus 144 by 12 5 is 60 
फाइव फाइव जो ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व जो फाट वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर बाय सिक्सटी राइट सो वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव मींस फोर्टीन माइनस फाइव इज नाइन थ्री माइनस टू इज वन दैट इज वन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन माइनस वन हंड्रेड नाइनटीन बाय सिक्सटी सो दिस टैंड पी माइनस कॉट आर इज माइनस वन हंड्रेड नाइ